people walk around with their heads in a cloud and don't take the time to smell the roses or look at the mural makes you alive again. It's important because like our stories are important, our histories are important. Sometimes it's so hard to find the words, so it's, it's fun to just to look at something and you know on some level this is, this is something I can really connect to. Me coming from the Bronx, the burning Bronx, I used to see everyone tag on the walls. So while I was playing outside, I would tag on mostly abandoned buildings. And, um, you know, it was just kind of stating my name. I wanted to see my name. I wanted to be heard. I wanted not to be invisible during that era. It was almost like a depression. The only thing that was an outlet was art. I grew up in East New York, Brooklyn, so my first connection to art was graffiti and like cartooning. Transferring into my adult years, that's when I started to do murals and seeing the difference between graffiti and murals and um, very thin lines, but one being considered illegal and one being uh, legal. I have, I have no art background whatsoever other than literature and writing. I taught myself how to do what I do. You know, going through the, the process of finding the right paint or the right paper or the right adhesive, uh, I knew nothing of that. And I just had to do trial and error. And that was part of the fun too, to find the tools that I wanted to use and the medium that I wanted to, to play around with. Obviously you can see that my character is very ethnic. I refuse to conform to uh, whitewashing her. Keep my nose full and my lips full. I want the Bronx to come through. That, because most times you're not gonna see the person that's painting. So I don't want you to assume. I want you to know as soon as you see her, what she is. My personal work uh, deals with um, uh, histories that are erased and how we preserve those histories. So specifically focusing on the African diaspora and a woman of color, um, black woman, and telling our stories. So a lot of the images you'll see are uh, children, uh, volunteers, mothers, nurses. These are people who are innocent. They're just being thrown into the situation because of their government or because of some external forces. They're the heroes, you know. They're, they're, they're the ones, like, risking their neck f for their community. I have a... A character now, she represents Puerto Rico and Puerto Rican, and she fights different causes. And without even writing what she's doing, people recognize what, what is the cause that she's fighting. I never fight a cause that I just want to be popular. It has to mean something to me. I have the street harassment mural. Respect is the strongest compliment. So, like, we got, like, an umbrella, like, idea of um, working... Uh, what are women's issues, like uh, sexually, what are we going through, et cetera. And street harassment was so clear. Last year, I think, is my most important mural that I've ever created, uh, dealing with mental health for women of color. It's always worth the risk to put someone's story up on a public wall. Um, even if it's a contract that's, what, five years? That's five years someone's looking at that story every day when they walk by. Why shouldn't like underserved communities or communities that um, a system may consider low class, why don't they deserve great quality art? Or why don't they deserve their stories to be told? I would say it's not your traditional type of street art and graffiti. It's not always the prettiest thing to look at, but I think it's the most interesting and that is what actually what makes it beautiful. And it's when it's found in its environment and taken as a whole. I, I see our country as a community. So I, uh, whatever happens to it or what we, or what our country does to other countries <laughs> is something I wanna uh, comment on. There's this is a theme of standing up for the innocent and the marginalized, standing up for what's right, you know? I, I, I really can't like sit back and just uh, stay quiet when some sort of uh, atrocity happens. No one valued our work. Look what happened to Five Point. No one valued it. But yet you come from 
Germany and, you know, you'll take, you'll come to our neighborhood that you've never even, would have never stepped into on your own and, and, and profit. Being a muralist, uh, gentrification is a tough topic because I, I do murals in a lot of neighborhoods that I may have grown up in or have a lot of connection to, like their stories and their history. And often, if you're doing a mural in those neighborhoods, it's the first step of gentrification. A lot of times there are tensions, you know, but it's also like, well, your story needs to be told. If I can have conversations with people in the community and be like, well, what do you want to see on this wall? You know, like, this is a topic we were given. What do you think about this topic? You know, or like asking them, having those conversations every day, I think is definitely worth it. You'll notice that a lot of the condos that are going up, a lot of the more exclusive uh, apartments going up, uh, they'll have some sort of mural on the side of their building or some artwork going down this facade or something. Or if you go into the lobby, there'll be like some sort of quote unquote street art framed above the sofa or some shit, I don't know. If, if you see a mural going up on your building, you're screwed, your rent's gonna go up, <laughs> so watch out. Most of the time, fellas would say, you're really good for a girl, whatever that means, because I was really good with letters. I really want to empower girls. I mean, the saying of we can do anything, but we have to show it. We can't just say it. It's a great way to let people know uh, that they're not alone. If they're frustrated, frustrated with a certain policy, if they're frustrated with the corruption, the violence, the, um, the ineptitude, I'm hoping my work kind of gives them like a little sense of relief. I want my legacy to be that I was here. Um, most important thing, being a black woman and just seeing so many different histories and stories erased most important thing is that I was here and that I could like pass on whatever wisdom, knowledge I gain on this life journey that it passes on to someone else. My art represents me. My art hopefully inspires young girls. And my art can compete with any man. <laughs> I challenge you. My art is powerful. Uh, my art is black. <laughs> um, my art is peace, my art is love. And my art is my truth. <laughs>